good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much will depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Igbo group mocks Haneze over their inability to secure single appointment from Governor Shanwolo of Lagos State. Yes. Igbo leaders in Lagos State, they say they are leaders under the umbrella of Haneze Ndebo. Haneze Ndebo. They are licking their wounds over their inability to secure appointment from the governor of Lagos State, the re-elected governor, Shawolu. They campaigned for him, they were telling neighbors, go and vote for Shawolu, go and vote for Shawolu, go and vote for Tinibu. You know, they are friends, they are brothers, thinking that they will secure appointment. Now the man has uh, constituted his uh, commissioners uh, and uh, SAs and all the cabinet members. No single labor was there. Even the Jew Ibokwe that was there in the recent appointment or, or previous appointment, I think it's not in this recent appointment. Yes, previously he was there in the last administration, but in this new administration of Isham Wolu, his name is not there. They have sacked him from that, his position as SA. Yes, he was the SA on drainage to the governor of uh, Lagos State, Isham Wolu, in his first tenure. Now in this first tenure, They've sacked him. It's not there again. So group, this group is mocking them, telling them to, to Ibokwe, to Ama Solomon Agwene, to Son Dosai, Son Dude, Son Deze. Now these people, where they cross Ndebo for Lagos, doing that uh, charade and selection they were doing on February this year, they were crossing Ndebo's. On that one is there something. They must vote Shangwolu. Of course. When Shangwolu was running Heta Skater, he was afraid of the Labour Party candidate at that time. So these guys were moving to mobilize the for him. Shamelessly. They plain to they mentioned their names. You see them? One Judy the mob followed them. They said, Chief Chris Equilo. As a Christian, which you want to go, as you said, him what she fully vacuized, she was so long more, she was so low chooks as a Lawrence and number as a as a Christophia, Chief Mrs. Vivian Obi, Chief Mrs. Nelly Okafo say they're plenty, but they just mentioned these persons. See, then they laugh at them, shameless people where they Lagos, we don't know their background, they beg some wall, make him go back. Make him do it, give you appointment. Now, you don't collect the appointment? No, no appointment for you. Disappointment, Randall. Joy Bokohama, you see him? Use and dump, use and dump. They were going round, campaigning, telling Ibos they should come out in their large numbers, they should come out in mass to vote for Shang Wolu and his APC. Vote Tenibu, what can going happen? The man don't appoint people finish. No single able person there there. Or then see him. Tomorrow, when I go still go again. So this group is telling them, mm-to, mm-to, no don't see him. Now what didn't fit them? You see him? Now what didn't fit these people? Then they cry. Say make some will look come appoint them. Say they work for him. One one you get one what say be Ajibe. Said they were surprised that no Ibo, no person of Igbo extraction was found in the current government of Governor Babajide Shangwolu. He said, despite their struggle and efforts, even at their personal discomfort, he said, Igbo people, some Igbo pe- people ensure that the All Progressive Congress won Lagos and Nigeria at large. You see, um, they fully fools. So, how market? They, they are calling on Governor Shangwolu. And other relevant stakeholders to halt what they call total marginalization of the Igbo in Lagos, especially when they view against the quantum of revenue which the Igbo add to the internal digital revenue agile of the state. Now, what is the man they talk? You see him? So, the man they talk about IGR. See, Igbos are in Lagos doing business. Do your business, make your revenue, come back home and invest. Develop the southeast, develop the Biafra land. That is what we are saying. 
nobody say, nobody asks you to go and play dirty politics in this in the in Lagos state because of the idea. Make your money. You have dominated you have dominated the investment, the business atmosphere in Lagos. There's no doubt. So let us see the replica of what they are doing in Lagos in the entire southeastern states in the Biafra land. Bring home investment. Yes, and so it's not to play dirty politics. They are crying. Look at look at their cry. Let me quote. Quote, we are concerned that we are not happy. We have our illustrious sons and daughters in Lagos, especially somebody like Honorable Judy Dimoko, who has served the state in the assembly for eight years. As a lawmaker, we think that such a man should be compensated, especially when you look at what he did for APC. He campaigned vigorously, organized press conferences, town hall meetings, and explained the APC manifesto to his kinsmen. So he should be compensated. He should have been given something like appointment as a commissioner or senior special advisor, as it is not too much for him. What we are saying is that such a position can still be created for him and others like him. Honorable Dumont go through his brainchild network. Abundance Movement was able to mobilize his constituents for Asuaji Bolame to number four presidency, Wabajiden Shangwolu, the number one governor in Nigeria. He also played key roles in so many other associations formed to mobilize support for Tinibu and Shangwolu, such group as Ibo Kweno for Asuaji. Remember, he, is also support, he also supported the election of Tinibu to the Ohanes in Dibo and other groups. He is the only one, he's not the only one, there are many other Igbo people who worked for APC in this Lagos and across the nation. They should be appointed into boards so as to be, so as to give them a sense of belonging. End of quote. So now what in the aggrieved people they talk? The people, what do they tell them to all? Now what in they talk with this? They say, make a good appointment. They are projecting one in the morgue. They say, they say, now the man, honorable member. Honorable member for eight years, saying that he be the morgue, may they give him a, may they give him a commissioner. Now lie, now lie. Some will not give anybody commissioner. Okay? Yes, and be sabo to us. Sabo. So they are crying, they are licking their wounds, smoke and licking well, well. All right. No pity. What you are asking for is what you have seen. That is it. So tomorrow, some of the will still go. And betray themselves, thinking that they'll benefit. No way. So they don't sack him, Joe Bokwe. They don't come off from Lagos cabinet. Look, we see what he can talk now. Yes. So, did they do him to say nothing will happen? We don't see him now. Or they cry. They're gonna cry, well, well. They're gonna cry, ocean. 